Mm. Cheers, Drew. Cheers, Brian. Good morning to you. Good, Good morning. morning to you. Indeed. As well. Today we have a response video. Yeah. We were responding to something that happened in the real world related to fountain pens. Not often that that happens. We don't usually talk about the real world. We normally live in our own little fountain pen world, mm -hmm. but on January 3rd of 2020. I remember that. On the Today Show of all places, um, Al Roker, in a segment called Can't Live Without It, talked about his fountain pen. What do you know? Can't like a, live without it. A regular person out there that has a fountain pen. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. So props to you, Al, for bringing some love to the fountain pen world. Um, and it was a really nice segment, actually. He talked about how much he loves doing handwritten notes and what it means. And and uh, they went on for like a couple minutes about it. So I thought that was pretty nice. cool. He only mentioned a couple of products, one of which was, you know, kind of the iconic Mont Blanc 149, right. I think. And then a Moleskine Journal, which I think is those two brands probably are the ones that people who aren't deep into fountain pens yeah. have probably heard of those brands. If you so, think of like fancy pen, fancy paper, for sure, those come to mind. And look, they're great products. We don't sell either of them. So, okay, yes, we could be a little biased, but we thought we would just unpack that a little bit, sort of what he talked about and maybe give some of our recommendations yeah. in response to Al's video. So Al, thank you for bringing attention to it and love your glasses, by the way. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so let's get into it. So he yeah. talked about his pen and his paper. Now the pen, the Mont Blanc 149 with a broad nib that he uses, $935 MSRP. It's a little up there. Not exactly the most accessible pen for the everyday person. So we have a selection of some, maybe some more affordable options. Yeah. Especially because the Today Show appeals to you know, a mass audience. So people who maybe aren't deep into fountain pens. So yes, we thought indeed. we'd unpack a little bit. You want to take a kid off? Sure, yeah. If you did <clears throat> want to explore the writing experience that Al mentioned without the price tag, a great place to start would be the Pilot Metropolitan. Pilot may not have the uh, everyday prestige as Mont Blanc has, but it is really well known and you might recognize the brand. They've yeah. got G2s everywhere. I'm sure everybody's written with one of those. Absolutely. And within the fountain pen world, they are really widely respected. The Metropolitan is only $18.99, and you will find that these pens have a tremendously reliable writing experience. They start up wonderfully. They have a nice weight to them. They feel quality. And there's really uh, maybe only a few competitors to them as far as great, best, even starter pens go. Yeah. I thought it'd be good to mention these because oh, you switched the caps on me there. I see that. <laughs> Wait, did that's I? a nice look. Yeah, you I did. did. <laughs> they have swappable caps, lots of different color <laughs> options, good stuff, and it's a brand that a lot of people have heard of because yeah. of Pilot Friction and G2. Yeah. Uh, another one that's really good is the Lamy Safari. Absolutely. Now, Lamy Safari is really like a workhorse pen. It's kind of like known in the fountain pen world as being just one of the best starter pens that you can get. It's extremely reliable, very durable, has a lot of different color options, including Al, one to match your glasses <laughs> that you had in the segment here. Um, and it's like a lot of different nib choices, stainless steel nib, very reliable writer. Uh, it's going to be run you in a $30 range. Mm -hmm. So just a little bit more than the pilot, but lots of options there. Another new addition to the starter sphere is the Diplomat Magnum. This particular color is called Prismatic Purple. It is exclusive to our company. And this really sh showed up heavily on the scene mm -hmm. last year. Uh, it's been in production for quite some time and it's a pretty well regarded brand as well. The Magnum is, what's the $20. price of the Magnum? 20 bucks. You cannot go wrong with this pen. Yeah. It is lighter than uh, the other pens we've mentioned, but also comes in a good variety of colors and has a really, really nice writing experience. You're going to enjoy this one. Definitely. And if you'd like to write a lot, an affordable option is the Twisby Eco. Now, this is one of the most affordable piston filling pens that you can get. And they're all demonstrators, which means you can see the ink mm -hmm. inside the barrel. Very cool effect, has great uh, number of nib choices, lots of color options too. This one runs you just under $30. Yes, indeed. And if you want to step it up a little bit, you can go to some gold nibs. That's right. And the first gold nib we're going to talk about is the iconic and timeless Lamy 2000. This pen has been in, the production, been in production since the 60s, has won numerous design awards, and is widely considered a staple of fountain pen collector's collection. It blows my mind that this pen is over 50 years old because it looks... It looks futuristic, even today. Timeless. Yeah. Timeless indeed. It is also an internal piston pen. So you've got a knob that you operate on the back, and the pen itself fills with ink. So again, like the Eco that Brian just mentioned, great ink mm -hmm. capacity, gold nib. So you've got a little bit more of a bounce while you write. That's right. It even has a little ink window so you can see when you're getting low. That's this right. pen, you cannot go wrong with. Yep. And then to cap it off here for pen Oh, the Lamy 2000, 175.20. So it is a bit jump up in price because you're paying for that gold nib. There you go. And then 
to cap off the pen section, <laughs> we have the... <laughs> didn't intend to do that, but That's look, hilarious. it just happened. Uh, the Pilot Vanishing Point. Uh, this is a click retractable fountain pen, uh, which is a really great pen if you'd like to write on the go, especially if you're used to having gel pens, ballpoint pens. This is one of the few fountain pens that has a click retractable mechanism in it. It's a reliable mechanism, great pens, lots of color choices as well. It's got a gold nib just like the Lamy 2000 does. This one will run you uh, about $150, depending on the options that you go with. You want to start us off on some paper choices, Brian? Yeah, I thought since Al mentioned the moleskin, um, they're fine notebooks. They're especially great if you're using pencils and ballpoints, but the paper in them is usually a little too absorbent for fountain pens. So we have some selections that are um, really intended more for the liquid fountain pen ink that mm -hmm. you would use. Um, so the one that is probably the most comparable to the moleskin is Leuchtsturm 1917. Uh, it's a brand that comes out of Germany. The paper quality is, is better. It's not as good as some of the others we're going to show you, but it's got the notebook format familiar to the moleskin comparable price as well. It's going to have your, you know, you can get a dot grid on it. So if you like to do bullet journaling or any productivity journaling, you can do that. It's got the bookmarks and the straps and the pockets and all the numbering and all that good stuff. And as far as paper goes that we cannot live without, there is no better choice than the Rhodia number 16 dot pad. Love it. This pad is all over our office, oh, yeah. has been for <laughs> years and years and years. There's probably not one desk you can't find one of these on. I remember it's, I remember when Rhodia came out with this, it was just when we started carrying the brand like 10 years ago. They came out with the dot format. And I told them, I said, dot is going to take over. It's it gonna be did. the dominant format. It and did. It absolutely is. Super handy, the dots are five millimeters apart, mm -hmm. so you can you know double that up if you wanna write really big, or you can keep narrow to it. You can make lists, mm -hmm. you can play the game dots. If you ever did that in the car as a kid, Sure. I did lots of that growing up. Five bucks, it's a great like desk pad. It's always there for you. You can just tear the sheets off, you can take it with you on the go. Mm -hmm. Super, super great, and the paper quality is amazing. And Brian's gonna finish off with some stationery. I am. Some this stationery. One, stationery with an E. Um, this is Clairefontaine Triumph. So this is really kind of traditional stationery. So it's a glued bind, glued top bound uh, tablet. So you, you know, it's glued at the top so you can easily tear off the sheets. Um, if even the blank versions, they come with a line sheet. I love this so much. This is like a life hack for yeah. people that write correspondence. If you put a line sheet underneath your blank one, you get the the straightness of writing on lines, but then when people get your letter, they're like, how do they write so straight? They must be amazing. And you're like, no. They I just, say that. I just cheated. Um, you can get it in A5 format, which is this size for five bucks. The bigger one is nine bucks, 50 sheets per bright white paper. And it is some of the best performing paper for fountain pens that you will ever find. I think it's the best. And it's got envelopes too to match it. Mm -hmm. The envelopes are very fountain pen uh, ink resistant as well. So they'll hold up really, really well. Won't feather and bleed like most envelopes. And if do. you don't like the uh, the licky adhesive flavor on your tongue, these do have um, self-adhesive. Self yeah, so you just peel a little thing, stick yes. it on, you're good to go. So those Christmas cards don't need to leave you with a nasty taste in your mouth. That's right, Al. So if you want to step up your game a little bit, not step up your game, you got some good products, but if you want to enjoy even more of your fountain yes. experience, let us know, dude. We'll hook you up. Anyway, we hope that uh, you enjoyed this. Uh, glad to see any awareness out there in the general world around fountain pens and glad that we could respond to it here today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and check out our website, gooleypens.com, if you're interested in learning more about fountain pens. Thanks so much for watching and right on.